Hey guys, what's up? It's Fan Allen Freak 99 and today I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu Linux on Windows 7 with a dual boot. And um so Ubuntu is like another operating system pretty much. It's one of the most um popular distributors of Linux. So and it's really fast and really cool. So I'm today I'm just going to show you guys how to download that with dual boot on Windows 7. I'm sure this works for Windows XP too. So you're going to want to open up your internet browser. You're going to want to search for Ubuntu. And you want to click on the website. I'll love this in the description too. Alright, so you want to go to the website and you want to click this right here. Get Ubuntu 12.10. And then you want to, don't click this, but scroll down and click, check out the Windows installer, and click that. Now this makes it much easier, like, before this Windows installer thing was invented, you'd have to, like, put it on a disk or a hard drive, and then burn it to the hard drive, and it was just a really big pain in the butt. So, they, they've made it a lot easier and just made a nice little, like, installer thing for it. So, you're going to want to click on that, and then you're going to want to select your version, I recommend the newest one 12.10 and you want to click get the installer scroll down from right here and click not now and then it'll download so you want to let that download and open it Okay, now once you open it, all this stuff is going to come out up, so what you want to do is you want to go right here, select your installation size, all that, I, so I usually select 30, um, that's, this is your username, so I'll just leave it as and Halo Freak 99 and you want to put in your password and then click install leave this alone leave that alone select either 18 or 30 from here it doesn't really matter and then just click install now the install takes a really long time well not really it takes like 10 minutes probably so um i'm just gonna wait for it to finish and then i'll get back to you guys Alright guys, so um, so the installer finished, once you get to here, you want to click reboot now, or I want to manually reboot later, so I'm going to click manually reboot and then I'll reboot, and I'll show you guys it like booting up and stuff. Alright, so um, yeah, that's pretty much it, alright, so once you get to here, either reboot or click or manually reboot later I'm just gonna click manually reboot and then I'm gonna reboot like on a video camera so yeah alright guys so um sorry the video isn't very good but I couldn't find any other camera so I'm, so I have to use um, my digital camera so um I'm going to click restart here. And yeah. This thing takes pretty good video but doesn't take videos of computer screens very good. So I'll just click sh for shutdown. And then we'll wait for it to reboot. Now when you reboot, um, you're going to see some weird stuff when it reboots, but that's normal. Here, I'll, I'll give you proof. 
like, you'll see, like, a bunch of, like, weird, like, messages and stuff, like, popping up, like, in, like, one of those, like, grub menu things. Alright, so here we go. Now, when you reboot after you install, it automatically reboots to, um, Linux the first time, just the first time. But after, like, it, like, prioritizes everything and, like, gets it set up for the first time, it will give you a dual boot. So, see what I mean? It gives you this weird stuff. It never does that, like, when you boot it up normally. It's just because it's the first time. And it's, like, installing, kind of, still. So. That's normal. You'll, you'll probably see that. Getting it set up for the first time takes about like, I don't know, probably um, probably like five minutes maybe. See how it's doing all this weird stuff, it's just like getting it ready for the first time kind of. See there we go, see how it says Ubuntu. So yeah, if you see that, you've done everything right, pretty much. And there you go. You'll see your password there. I mean, you'll see your username there. And yeah, so, let me just... Oops, I logged into Guess by accident. I think. Nope. Okay, so. The first time you log in, it takes a little while. But there you go. As you see, we now have Ubuntu Linux. And here, I'll show you guys how it works with the dual boot. Just to show you that, guys that it works. So, I'm going to restart it again. And I'll show you guys that the dual boot works. Even though the first time like you install it, it'll like just go automatically to Ubuntu like for the first time. After that, it'll dual, dual boot. Like, it'll show you a bunch of options about like... um if you want to load up on Windows 7 or not. So see this, Windows 7 or Ubuntu, I'm going to select Windows 7 again. And yeah. Alright, well I'm going to go back on the computer to wrap this up. Alright guys, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you guys had any problems, please leave me a comment because um, I don't get that many comments on my videos and I'll reply to all of them. So, um, yeah, please, please leave a comment if you have any problems or anything, and I'll try to help you. Um, I'm not very experienced in this kind of thing, but I'll probably be able to help you in some stuff if you guys have any problems with this. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure to subscribe, guys, because it really helps. And, um, yeah, okay, thanks for watching.